What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Lightwork, Lightwork for short. And today, man, we're going to be talking about Mad 21 Next Gen Gameplay Trailer, all right? This is my reaction to it. This is a blind reaction. Um, you know, my boy Goaded Mills, shout out to Goaded, just put this in the Discord. I ran upstairs to do this for y'all, man. Literally, like, I was about to go back to sleep. I only got two hours of sleep working on all this content for y'all, man. But we got this, man. We're going to react to it. All right, so it's about two minutes. I will be stopping in some areas, you know, some things I see, I'll back up. You know, you know how we do. So let's jump in. Okay, let's go back. I heard something. I don't know if y'all heard it, but do y'all hear kind of like the rain, like the crackling of the rain and everything? Like, do y'all hear the rain fall? Even though you don't see it, like you, you don't see a lot of it, but you hear it. Just, just listen. Do y'all hear it? Like, that's wild, man. Like, uh, get both feet down. Okay. All right. Ooh, look at the field, man. Like, look at the field. Like, it's covered in snow. And what they did, what real NFL teams do, is blow off, like, every five yards. So, the 5, 10, 15, 20, by like each yard line is blown off to clear so the refs can see the yard line. That is fire. Welcome to the most realistic NFL simulation ever. Ah. It begins with next-gen player movement powered by NFL next-gen stats. RFID tags and NFL player shoulder pads chart their every move within inches. And this information now drives all animation in Madden, delivering unique acceleration rates, directional changes, and movement for all players on the field. If y'all saw just in a few seconds, the movements look better. Ah, movements look better. Excuse me. All right. Um, now we. I know. Listen. I know it's a trailer. Okay. So they can make a lot of things look better than what they actually will look like. I understand that. But just imagine that being actually in the game, especially next gen. Okay. Especially next gen. Okay. The movements look more fluent. They look realistic. You know, they're moving through their shoulders. They're rounding their cuts. Stuff like that makes a difference, especially in Madden, okay? Especially in Madden. That makes a huge difference. You'll feel the explosion of Michael Thomas in and out of his breaks, the elite acceleration and blow-by ability of Henry Ruggs, and the raw athleticism of Dalvin Cook, feeling dangerous on every touch. Okay, so something that he just said right there, that you're going to be able to feel the blow-by of a Henry Ruggs. That means people like Tyreek Hill, Henry Ruggs, you know, the fast players of the game will truly be that fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll truly be unable to, uh, if you get caught in a bad position, they're not going to be getting caught. You know, you, do you understand what I'm saying? So that's really dope, all right? And he said something and He said about Dalvin Cook being a game changer. That's also really dope because... Dalvin has been on a tear lately, so I definitely um, feel that. Defensively, players will move and position themselves based on their next-gen stats data. Elite defenders will react authentically to make plays on the ball and take unique angles when chasing down ball carriers. Pursuit angles. That's what I just heard right there. Take unique angles to the ball carrier. That means what I'm hoping and praying, hoping and praying, that they fixed the pursuit angles, all right? We have had a major problem with pursuit angles, all right? If they fix that, man, let me tell you something. If they fix the pursuit angles, that's a win, period. Like, that's a win to me, all right? Because defense is a struggle, okay? Defense, this year's defense is, I don't say it's trash, but, you know, it's a lot of stuff to have to improve on. But if they fix the pursuit angles, <laughs> good enough for me. Next gen player 
realistic and smooth simulation gameplay based on actual NFL player data. Thanks to Next Gen Stats, you can only experience this in Madden. Also, I'm starting to hear, like he said this like several times, next gen stats, next gen stats. So what I'm starting to understand is they're going off of what they are doing currently. That's what I'm getting out of it. What they are doing currently to make how, make them how good they are as a player, okay? We do know about the ratings and we want ratings to matter, okay? I want my 99 to feel like a 99. Not, I ain't going to say he's completely unstoppable, but to dominate the game. Like, that's how I want it to feel. You know, when I have an Aaron Donald, him beating an offensive lineman like a drum, that's the feeling I should get from my 99. Pat Mahomes, being able to throw it a gazillion yards, that's what I should, that's how I should feel. Not if I throw the ball with Patrick Mahomes, he get picked off because he's not getting enough air under the ball. You know, so, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely, uh, I can't wait to see how this plays out, okay? That, that's something that is very major to me. Like, how does this play out with next gen stats? Key moments trigger next gen stats in place, giving you an analytical breakdown of the play. Over 15 specific data points tracked on every down give you the information oh. you need to make strategic decisions and optimize your game. They're adding in things like, seconds to throw, um, how long the ball travels in the air. So this can be a part of your game plan, like different things like that. So Josh Allen, how long does it take him to throw the ball this many yards and stuff like that? Things that they have in the real NFL, things that they break down constantly. I didn't know they had so many categories in the NFL, to be honest, until just a few years ago of how, how much they break down Madden I'm not Madden, but the NFL in a as a whole as a whole game. So it, it's just so surprising to me. To help create these highlight moments, play calling is now more intuitive and accessible. You can easily call plays to get the ball in the hands of your star players. You can save your favorite plays to find quickly when the perfect moment arises. All right. So something that they added in. Now you can pick your plays by player, okay? You want Christian McCaffrey to have the ball, boom, here's his here's his uh his play sheet. You know, you want uh Diggs to have the ball, these are the routes that or this this is the play call for Diggs. Then you have a favorites category, which is really dope, which is really dope because it will kind of stop us from getting like caught up into a playbook and everything like that. You know, we a lot of us content creators, we play in different playbooks and different things like that. So it that will help us out a lot, especially when, you know, when we go to the Baltimore playbook, we want to run this scheme out of there. We want to go to the running gun playbook, the playbook that I use in current gen that's really good. You know, I want to use them and my favorite plays are in there. So that is a major win if that if it works. If it works, that's a major win. But you know, we with EA, we gotta. I gotta see it. I gotta. I gotta see it. The next generation of Madden is here, and it's never felt so real. Real game day in Madden NFL 21. December fourth. All right. So that's the end of the video. I just wanted to break down a few things that I saw. And I heard, I know that they're running everything off of next gen stats, you know, so I'm guessing a lot of these players rating is going to be based off their stats, which doesn't surprise me because that's what they were doing anyway. And then they were having somebody like Ocho Cinco break down certain plays like a, a Jimmy Graham catch and how he caught the ball. Boom. His uh, spec catch is up by two points or whatever. It is. So those that's a fun way to add in, um, you know, uh, older players and different things like old players or retired players that still do play Madden and things like that. Having your players feel like who they are, Henry Ruggs, Tyreek Hill, blowing by somebody like that's a feeling you should have. You know what I'm saying? Like and when you have like a Mike Evans or a. Uh, I'm just going to use his name, Calvin Benjamin, even though he's not in the league. 
like a bigger receiver, your receiver should feel big. It should, he should feel strong. You know, the Michael Thomases of the world, like they should, That like that's the feeling. That's the feeling. Everybody shouldn't just feel the same. Okay. Everybody shouldn't feel the same. And I thought that's something they were doing in current gen that really hasn't panned out the way I thought it would. But I really do hope that this is corrected. Um, also, like, uh, you talked about the, the speed of the players, the feel of the players, the cutting, the planning. You know, we all we saw all of that. You know, we saw the, the presentation in reference to weather. You know, a lot of us don't play in weather like that because, you know, um, if we're playing it on, online or whatever, like, Snow is not really a factor or, or ever been a problem or anything like that. So, you know, I'm not worried about the snow, but it was it was a good look. It was a very good look. But guys, um, I just wanted to say, man, like I hope this lives up. I hope this lives up. I really do. Um, but that's it to the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my reaction, my commentary, everything like that. But it's your boy Light Work, man. I am out. When you do the work, you see the light. We gone. Peace. Peace, peace.